Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I'm Dr. Sun Jing Sun from uh, Shanghai Raging Hospital. I'm currently a attending surgeon and associate professor of Shanghai Mini Living Safety Surgery Center of Shanghai Jiao Tong University. So today I'm going to talk about a little bit about Henley's trunk, and we're trying to uh, give a very preliminary study uh, result about the anatomical characteristics and classification of Henley's trunk in laparoscopic right hemi uh, right hemiclectomy. So uh, there's no disclosure for the study. So uh, as we all know that um, uh, when re referring to the laparoscopic right colectomy, there is certain uh, space or uh, surgical space we need to focus on. So basically there are three major different spaces. One is the right retrocolon colon space, and the second one is the transverse retrocolon colon space, and the last one is the intermycentric space. So as regarding to the RRCS, I think it's very straightforward. We just need to uh, separate the mesocolon apart from the uh, uh, Gerota fascia, and we will we'll find proper RRCS. But regarding to the um, TRCS, I think uh, our, our, our group think that it might be a, the fingerprint of the CME procedure. So uh, this space, the, the right border is the descending part of the duodenum, and the left, part, left side is the SMV, the superior part is the root of the transverse mesocolon, and the inferior part is the horizontal part of the duodenum, and the anterior wall is the transverse mesocolon, and the posterior wall is the pancreas. So, um, because of uh, the, in this space, the very key important structure that is the Helen's trunk. Um, so if we have um, performed uh, improper procedures, that might be caused very severe uh, disasters in, interoper interoperatively. So um, according to the uh, anatomy, so this is a figure that is a, a published like in 2016 by pancreatic surgeon group. So uh, they're trying to categorize the, um, uh, the, uh, the Helen's trunk by the different tributaries uh, uh, into the uh, Helen's trunk. But um, I think well, uh, there's another better uh, category master that is published in 2015 by Japanese uh, doctors. So uh, according, according to the number of the col col colonic veins, that is the um, uh, back into the Helen's trunk. So because um, uh, this is more convenient for a uh, colorectal cancer view, a colorectal cancer surgery review. So um, this is a type zero uh, representing there's no vein that is uh, uh, from the uh, colon, and the type one uh, represents there's only one vessel that is from colon, and the type two represents there were two veins that is um, from from the colon, and there's type three may represent three, and uh, therefore we're, we're trying to see whether uh, these kind of uh, categories uh, ha have certain um, meaning in our populations, especially in Chinese populations. So we started this observational pr perspective uh, cohort study. So um, the study started at uh, 2017, and uh, we are trying to uh, finish this study by the end of this year. So uh, the approximately uh, enrollment patient would be around 800. So right now we have uh, 355 cases from 10 different centers all around China, and we found the average length of the Helen's trunk we observed is nine millimeters. So uh, among these 355 cases, there are 30, 63 type zero case, 183 type one case, 88 type two case, and 10 type three case, and interestingly, 11 other kind of types. So um, this is the enrollment uh, uh, situation from different standards. So, um, so uh, there's uh, more, most of the cases it's a type one, uh, around uh, almost half of the study, and the type two is around a quarter of the study. So uh, this is the top type pr proportion, as we can see that most of the uh, anatomical characteristics is only one vessel, that is RCV, and uh, it's around 45%. So um, this is a, a different a subtype proportion according to different subtypes. So. Um, as the figure shows that the type zero um, means there's no veins originated from the colon, so this is a type zero, and this is just one vein uh, that is uh, either ICV or MCV or SRCV uh, from from the colon, and the type two means there were at least two two veins that is originated from colon, and this is type uh, type three means there were uh, three vessels. Uh, from the colon. So uh, this is a very interesting case. I'll show the video later. So this is the other types. Uh, 
So, um, how can I play the video, please? Can anyone help me to play the video, please? Look if they can help you over on the table. Here you go. Oh, so, uh, all right. So, I just skip the videos. I'm just trying, trying to show some, oh, thank you. So, uh, we're trying to do this with a media to ladder approach. So, we uh, asked the assistant to uh, retract the um, IM, IMV first in trying to find the uh, proper space between the mesocolon and the gerota fascia, and we're trying to identify the SMV and SMA, and after that, we're join, join, just trying to uh, separate the uh, lymphatic tissues uh, along the SMA and SMV until we find uh, the Helen's trunk. So this procedure is very straightforward, and so just trying to uh, dissect and do the anatomy along the vein and along the duodenum and the pancreas. As we can see here, this, there's only one vein originated from the colon, the right colon vein, so this is a type one case. Okay, this is um, another case, as we can see, there seems like uh, three veins originated from the colon, but uh, finally we, uh, we decided that only two, two veins originated from colon, it's the RCV and SRCV, so this is a, actually a type two case. And this is a type three case. Um, can, can anyone play the video, please? Oh, thanks. Uh, this is a very uh, interesting case I mentioned, it's the other type, so actually, Actually, this case, the Helen's trunk is missing, and uh, the uh, right uh, gastroepiploric vein is originated directly from the SZV, and there's only one vein originated from the colon that is, uh, has been dissected here. So uh, this is also another type of the, uh, of the video, and so because of time, I'll just, uh, okay, just quick view. So this case, um, as we can see, there's the, the anatomy is really complicated here. So we firstly cannot identify which type it is, so I need to do the uh, bilat uh, the hybrid procedure that means from medial to lateral and from, from upside down. So we identify this as a type, only type two case. So, okay, so, uh, apart from this study, we're also trying to do some uh, pre-op uh, CT angiography uh, for the identification of different branches of the vein. So we found this interesting case here. So this case, the, uh, the ICV is originated, uh, would be uh, directly back into the Henley's trunk. So uh, uh, unfortunately, we didn't uh, videotape it, so I cannot show you the video here. So um, in conclusion, the Henley's trunk is uh, variations should be re-studied in the laparoscopic right hemicolectomy group, and I hope our study can show some certain uh, value to improve the uh, qualification of the su surgeries, and the classification of the cannabis trunk might affect the surgical quality and perioperative complications of the right hemicolectomy. Thank you.